Anivar's too weak. Give it to your girlfriend. Hey everyone, welcome to Miami Life and Fitness. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you are back for more videos, then thank you so much and welcome back. So if you already like my content and you find it valuable and you get knowledge out of it, go ahead and give me a like now and comment as we get right into this video. So this, this comment about Anavar comes from Dave Palumbo, which I love Dave Palumbo. I think he's a great guy. He's very knowledgeable about the sport, about anabolics, about bodybuilding and weightlifting. He's not an idiot, but this was an idiotic comment. So if one of his podcasts about a week and a half ago he says men I don't understand why men use Anavar it's too weak and it's too expensive you're just wasting your money just give it to your girlfriend exact quote <clears throat> um, so let's talk a little bit about Anavar and I've talked about this when I talked about Anavar for men and when men do cycles of Anavar so because Anavar is somewhat expensive there are more raw powders and we can get into that later but when men do cycles of Anavar, I do think it is kind of, I don't want to use the word ignorant, but it's not, I don't think it's wise to use an Anavar only cycle. I think Anavar is great for men when they pair it up and use it in a complete cycle with other supplements and other androgenic compounds because they need androgenic anabolics to begin with and when they pair it with the correct dose of Anavar, it works great within the cycle. But as far as a man doing just Anavar alone or an Anavar only cycle, it's completely ridiculous and yes, that can be a waste of money. But to me, the fact that Dave Palumbo said it's a waste of money and you're wasting your time with it because it's too weak, give it to your girlfriend, that was kind of an idiotic statement. And look, Anavar itself is the mildest steroid. I don't like to use the word weak because it is not weak. It is the lowest on the anabolic rating scale. That doesn't mean that it's weak. It's just the lowest. When used at the proper dose, which for women, it's 10 milligrams a day. And for men, it's anywhere from 50 to 100 to get the full benefits of Anavar. And you will get the effects of what it's actually meant to do. So again, men, when you take it at the right dose, it's going to give you the effects that you're looking for and what you need at the proper dose. Women, 10 milligrams, you're going to get what you want. And you're going to get the benefit of the effects of what it's supposed to give you. Um, Anavar is great. Again, it was made for, you know, uh, anemia, HIV patients, muscle wasting. So it has a lot of medicinal benefits, including to keeping you lean, uh, keep, uh, in, in helping you to burn body fat, increase muscle mass. And it does have anti-estrogenic properties, which is what's going to help you to maintain your leanness as long as you are eating properly and you reduce your body fat and you train heavy and intense, which is going to allow you to build muscle and to burn the fat and to reduce your body fat percentage so as far as what he said about it's too expensive look if it's not the most expensive but it is a fairly expensive powder and it's one of the reasons why it's faked a lot which in reality i really don't know why people want to fake it because it is the most popular compound um I mean, it's really the one that women take, and a lot of a lot of men like to take it as their first cycle because you know it has a lower risk. But I really don't know why it's fake. It shouldn't be fake. But let's talk about the more expensive powders, just so that people have an idea, so I can fill you in. Primo is more expensive, and Proviron is more expensive, and Trestalone, aka Mint, which is a 19 Nor family, um, it is way more expensive than all of that. So we all know that Primo is fake too, and, and Primo is a little more expensive than Anavar, Proviron as well. And when you're talking about Trestalone or Ment, it's probably, for me, one of the most expensive, if, if not the most. But the fact that Dave Palumbo said that it was a weak supplement, again, it's not a weak supplement. He's just looking at the numbers on paper on the anabolic rating scale, which is a, a 24. But at the end of the day, look, when a man does an Anavar only cycle, I think that's kind of silly um, to do an Anavar only cycle. For women, perfectly fine. Actually, that's what they should do. It is a great supplement. Women have great benefits and that's really all that they need. However, men should combine that in a full cycle, including testosterone, maybe Mastron, Proviron, and an AI once, twice, three times a week, depending on how their body aromatizes. Um, Anavar is, is also great when paired with other androgenic compounds. You can pair it with a little bit of Tren, a little bit of testosterone, making sure you take uh, the Proviron, and then along with the Anavar, and then an AI. So you do have to watch out what you take. You can even take testosterone, Primo, Anavar to really stay lean, and then Proviron, 
and an AI. So it really all depends what you pair it with, but combined in a responsible cycle and a full proper cycle to have a correct cycle, then Anivar is very beneficial for men. Again, using the minimum, minimum, minimum that I would ever suggest a man to do ever in his whole life, whether he's 20 or 60, is 40 milligrams. I like for men to start right at 50 and then increase it 50, 70, 80 and go from there. That's really when you're gonna get your full benefits. But again, you better be ready to re-up or you better order two to three bottles of Anivar right up front and hopefully the person that you're getting it from or ordering it from has 20 mg uh, pills or the 50 mg pills that way men can only take one a day or two a day which makes it really simple instead of popping six eight eight nine pills um, other than that it's unbelievable so it's a great supplement um, and again, women should stick to 10 milligrams. There's never any reason to start lower and there's really never any reason to go higher. Again, unless you are a competitor and you are past the bikini category in which then you would move up to 20. But again, if you're in the figure category, I wouldn't even suggest moving up to 20 milligrams of VAR a day. You would just move to a little stronger uh, compounds and get your benefit out of the next compounds being paired with 10 milligrams of Anivar. So that's the end of the video. We love you, Dave Palomo, but that was a pretty idiotic comment. So yeah, give it to your girlfriend or just give it to your boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe if you found uh, valuable information in this video and go ahead and leave a comment so we can interact. What do you feel about my video? What do you feel about my opinions and my experience and my knowledge? And what do you feel about Dave Palumbo making that idiotic statement? Is he right? Is he wrong? I guess there really is no right or wrong, but how do you feel about that statement? Anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Everyone have a great week and more videos to come.